the average day look like for me? Well, let's find out, shall we? How's it going everybody, Dylan O'Byrne here, and welcome to this week's video. I figured since we're already three weeks into this thing that I should probably give you some real advice by now so that maybe you could get out here too. In this video, we're going to be going over the day-to-day -day costs as well as what the day-to-day -day life looks like. And what better place to start than where my days start and end, the back of my car. I don't sleep in hotels, motels, or Airbnbs. It's in the back of the car every night because it is far cheaper. And by far cheaper, I mean zero dollars a day. Yeah, at a hotel or motel at last minute notice, you could be paying anywhere from $100 to $300. After I managed to get out of bed, I head to Starbucks around 6 a.m. I don't really drink coffee, so this is more to pay them to use the internet, so I can research what's up next on my trip. That average is about $2.46 per day. Next up is breakfast. Most days that consists of a muffin, a granola bar, a banana, and a naked smoothie all from Walmart. But sometimes I'm too lazy to go to Walmart, or there isn't one around, so I just go to a local diner. A Walmart breakfast costs just under $7 and a prepared breakfast costs anywhere from eight to 16, depending on where you go. Once I'm done with my morning routine, it's on to adventuring. This typically lasts anywhere from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. and encompasses everything from paid thrill seeking like helicopter rides and kayaking to free stuff like hiking and exploring abandoned amusement parks. Every day isn't a $200 jump out of an airplane, but I still manage to have fun. Most days, the average cost is about 10 to $30 for the amusement that I'm seeking. And in future videos, I plan to show you plenty of ways of seeking out cheap, affordable, and even free ways of having fun on your adventures. I usually get pretty caught up in my adventures, which causes me to miss lunch a lot. And now I know you're probably thinking that's pretty bad, but I do save a lot of money. I only spend about $3.50 a day on snacks. So it's not all bad. Having finished my day's adventures, I do end up needing food. Dinner can cost anywhere from 10 to $40 on any given day. Most of the time I'm not eating steak dinners though. It's usually a meal from a local restaurant. You want any ketchup? Uh, no, thank you. Okay. Have a good night. It, it just, it's faster this way. I mean, you can't beat the price. The adventure doesn't always just stop at dinner though. Sometimes I'll find myself out enjoying the stars, partying, watching live music, or just hanging out with the people I've met that day. She, she was fucking around? No, that's hot. That is hot. Oh my God. Five drinks herself, right? But before you go to hang out with people, you should probably get the showers. And that's what this place is for. Good old Planet Fitness. I pay just over $20 a month to be able to go to all 1,500 Planet Fitnesses across the entire country. It allows you a place to work out, clean yourself up with high pressure and warm showers, and be able to take a breather from the day. Sometimes, however, you will find yourself in a park shower facility, which are um, the opposite. They're much pricier and not the cleanest. Once you're done with all that, it's time to drive. This is where my third biggest cost comes from. It varies a lot depending on what part of the country you're in. If you're in more dense areas like the West Coast in California or New York in the East Coast, you can expect to fill up about once per day. But if you're in more rural areas like Big Bend, Texas, expect to fill up a little bit more than that. And the gas is going to be a little bit more expensive. Sooner or later, you are going to make a mistake, no matter how good of a driver you are. I've only been fined twice, once for parking and once for speeding. Averaging about 150 miles per day, it's bound to happen. So try to make that first time your last. Your day ends back in your bed. And as I said at the start of this video, your costs can vary greatly. Sleeping can either be your biggest or your lowest cost. My numbers are based on having fun, but I'm also very thrifty. I'm six foot one and I sleep in the back of my car every night. That brings my daily average down to $85 per day, which is really not a big deal. But if you're looking to stay in hotels, motels, and all right, holiday inns, I said it enough times now, and hostels, you're looking to spend another 40 to $300 a night. And I'm just not about that life. There is one other way to avoid sleeping in the back of your car with a price set at $0 per night. There's a website called couchsurfing.com. If you're cool with sleeping on the stranger's couches, go for it. I haven't tried it out yet myself, but when I do, I'll definitely give you an update. So just to review everything real quick, my biggest expense is food, coming in at $30.51. Just remember, this is a very basic breakfast, a small snack for lunch, and a decent to fancy dinner at the end of the day. When I started this trip, I weighed 173 pounds, and I'm now down to 172. So despite eating less and being far more active, it's not like I'm wasting away here. The second biggest expense is having the actual fun. That daily average comes out to $19.47. And yes, that also does have the helicopter and plane rides factored into it. After that is fuel, which comes out to $18.89 per day. 
Then there's six dollars for maintenance, three dollars and fifty cents for snacks, three hundred nine for fines, also three hundred nine for miscellaneous, which is anything from getting a haircut to going to the gym, two forty six for Wi Fi, and one fourteen for parking. You may have noticed that I'm not in my Rav Four right now. Well, that's thanks to Hilton Grand Vacations for hooking me up in my current location. Check this out. I give you Paris, France. What? <clears throat> I give you Las Vegas, Nevada. I'd like to thank you all for watching this week. If you haven't already subscribed, please do because that monthly giveaway is coming up. And make sure to stay after for the weekly challenge. Once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next week. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another riveting episode of Where's Dildo? Yeah! It's, it's never going to get old. It's never going to get old. Yeah. So I want to start off this week's episode with the answer to last week's episode, which was New Bern, North Carolina. And if you wanted to get really specific, it was in the unincorporated town of James City at the Green Springs Water Park. The first person to get that correct was Trayvon Norwood. I really hope that I'm pronouncing that correctly. And uh, he also won the raffle. And I just want to remind everybody that all you need to do is comment. So right or wrong answer, if you just want to say hi or tell me to go screw myself, literally anything, you have a chance to win. So, I mean, if you made it this far into the video, just, just go down there, comment real quick. Take five seconds. You, you could win stuff. So um, the challenge of this week is going to be around this picture right here. Um, it's going to be a little bit harder. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a lot harder, actually. And uh, you know the deal. You find out what town I'm in. You comment down below. If you're the first person, you have a high chance of winning. If you just comment anything, you have a lower chance of winning. But nonetheless, you still have a chance of winning. So good luck this week. I'll see you all next week. In this video, I actually have a better way of ending it off. I'm going to be giving you the sunset at the Grand Canyon. Enjoy and I'll see you later.